Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And now it's time to get further into the desert since we're at the end, basically. And go to Dry Desert Mushrooms. What does that even mean? Oh, this is what it means. It means it's a mushroom level, of course. That makes sense. There's also these spikes just throwing stuff down below them that we need to dodge, so... Let's dodge everything. And get all the star coins if I can manage that. Just need to be careful as we go through. The, the stuff that they throw will also bounce off of the platforms for a second. I don't know if you can get hit by them after the bounce. But I would rather not risk it right now, so... Ooh, give me that. Yes. Super Acorn is gonna save me from everything in the universe and possibly, possibly allow me to go onto their level and take them out if I really wanted to. Oh, speaking of which... Oh, really? Oh, oh, ah, oh, yeah, ugh, this is gross. Losing your power-up is just gross. Uh, this isn't safe, that's okay. Let's grab that. Whoa. Grab that, grab this. Grab that, and... Grab that, okay, I made it somehow. We have the squirrel suit again, somehow. Go down the pipe, please. Thank you. Oh, this is fine. It's just a... a level, you know. Uh, but anyway, we can also pick this up by spinning next to this by holding- and also holding down the action button. And if we drop this power block, it also... knocks- it kills enemies, but it also knocks- knocks coin out. Ugh. It also knocks- Ah! My- my- my speech speaking is dead. It also knocks down coins out of the air. Oh, hey. Look at that. That shuffle block you can also hit from the side, which you have to, to get the item, but also, since we hit it with a shell, it was more random luck, basically. Uh, this does not seem safe, but that's probably- this is probably safer than anything else I could probably do by like, going up instead of down. Uh, but anyway, this is the end of the level, so let's just go to the flag and get the one up. Very nice. Just one more level before the end castle of the world. Blooming Lakitus. Well, Lakitus, depending on how you want to say it. But anyway, we have a nice flower for one thing, if I really needed that. But also we have Lakitus, which are enemies that will drop enemies from above, basically. They throw spinies down, but if we take them out by jumping on top of them, we can actually ride this cloud for a bit. Which is good. Also, I need to make sure I'm not missing anything, because there are sometimes secrets in the sky when there are Lakitu clouds. Uh, but I also need to, need to be careful not to go too close to the ground, or too close to the sky, that I don't get what's on the ground. If that makes any kind of sense. Uh, but anyway, I think I might need... No, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure about that. Because there's those pipes up there, which I feel like that means that I need to actually go up there. But I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I need to go... Oh my goodness, I can't see. Also, I think the Lakitus can't actually spawn... ...when you're too close to a checkpoint. As well. Very nice, one up. Oh, hello. Let me just land on you, take your cloud away. And see what's up here, that's a... Bunch of coins I could get with the cow, the, the power block, but I want to actually go and put in this pipe because there's a star coin here. Also, like these uh, note blocks that you can bounce off of. If you tap your jump or tap the jump button at the right time, you also get an extra boost off of them instead of just bouncing slightly. Now, where am I, and where am I going? Well, obviously I want to go down this way. And get this. Star power, okay. Let's go. Grab that. Nah, that's everything we need, so let's just go to the flagpole and end this. That was significantly easier than I thought it was going to be.
Okay. Morton's Compactor Castle. That sounds good. Oh, hey, there's a thing up here, which we can go into. Bunch of coins, cool, cool. Any secret blocks? Nope, doesn't look like it. Just gonna grab as many of those as I can. Probably don't need to worry about it too much since it's just coins and I have plenty of lives. But anyway, let's keep going. So I like how it kind of has an entrance here to the castle. Oh, but we have these moving blocks here, which is going to be interesting. We need to make sure we don't get crushed by anything. We also need to avoid the potaboos. We also need that coin there. <laughs> nope. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Uh, if you are running, if you're running, when you go across a one block gap, you can actually just run across it without having to worry about falling in. You just run along the top, but I wasn't, I, I was, yeah, I was a bit stuck. I'm not sure if that's a problem because of having the super acorn thing or not. I think it was just mostly just my fault rather than anything else. Give me that mushroom. Okay, just need to run across here, please, before the block goes away. I don't know how I survived that. Wow. <laughs> Probably should be more careful than that. Okay, let's see now. I can see that block up there, so I'm gonna get that. Looks like you. It looks like if you also have a mini mushroom, you can do a few other things here. Which actually, it looks like you might be able to get a mini mushroom from that block up there, if I'm not mistaken. Unless that's a one-up block, and you're supposed to get there with a mini mushroom. But anyway, um, you need to stay inside the gaps to stay alive. This is fine. I think this block is an exit pipe, so I can't go in that. That's okay. Let's just go where we're supposed to be going. And be very careful not to break everything. I should probably not just take everything inside of the question mark block so I can save them for later if I need them. But it's going to be a very rare occasion that I need to actually go back for something. Like an item, at least. Because if I'm going back for an item, I've probably already died by that point. Instead of getting that. Okay. Green coins. Very nice. One up. Got plenty of those. Just need to be careful of these potaboos. Gonna leave that block there, probably. Okay, this looks like a lot of stuff. All moving at once. Okay. Coins are showing where the safe spots are. But not anymore. It's fine. It's so safe here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. Thank you. Okay. And this block over here probably has the fire flower in it. So I'm going to grab that. And let's go into the boss. I love the Kooplings ships, how they look like the Kooplings. Okay, Morton can stun us when he hits the ground, but also he has a gigantic pokey that he's gonna knock bits off at us in different ways, so we need to be careful of that. And then we need to hit him. And now we need to be careful of his shell. He's also gonna swap sides now, so we wanna be on the side that he's swapping over to. So that we can jump on him before the, he makes the pokey appear again. Okay. Same thing again. It's like how in the background it has the statues up there. And there we go.
Where did the ships crash? That's my question. Do they, like, land in mostly, or partially there still, or, like, do they completely explode everywhere and there's nothing left of them, or, I don't know. But anyway, you got all the star coins in Layer Cake Desert. That's gotta mean something good, right? It does to me. Let's save. And go to the next world, which we actually have a split path here. So we can go up to Frosted Glacier or down to Sparkling Waters. I'm gonna go up to the Frosted Glacier first, though. Okay. Shining or spinning star sky. That's gonna be interesting. Also, we get the ice physics again, since this is the snow world. Okay, spinning stars. Whenever you touch them on, or whenever you're on top of them on one side, it'll rotate in that direction. So you need to be careful of that. Ah, uh, but also, let's take this shell with us. I don't think I need it for anything. Also, you can't hold a Cooper shell for too long, otherwise it will escape from its shell hurting you if you're still holding it when it gets out, so you need to be careful of that. Ah, uh, hey, let's go into this hole here, if I can manage that. Huh. I don't know how I'm still alive. Also, what is this madness? Hang on. Okay, that didn't work. Ah, uh, but also sliding- uh, Sliding down the wall is tricky with this power-up. Can I not get in that hole with this power-up? This is just silly. Anyway, I'm going to leave that since that's just doing silly things. Also, that was a big mistake. Ah, uh, this is fine. I'm going to try and get this secret again. Okay, there we go. Is that all that is? It's just coins. Cool. Uh, anyway, we needed that secret for a star coin probably, but I didn't do that, so I'm going to have to come back for that. Also, there's stuff up here, which I'm interested in. Oh, hey, star coin. That's the second one, so I guess that's actually what you're supposed to do. Oh, uh, that's what the vine was for. So, yeah, I... I messed it up, but I also fixed it at the same time, so that works out quite nicely. Well, so that's a one up there. I can't really get that without that prana plant there. I could have used the shell to get rid of it, and everything is my fault again. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Anyway, checkpoint. Pretty sure that's an item block. You can usually tell when there's an item block. Instead of just a coin inside of a question mark block. It's usually by itself for one thing. Oh, that was careful, 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 so careful. You know, that was careful, that's exactly what the, that thing is. Secrets? Secrets, good secrets. Give me star power, which means we can run along these little chomp things and get that star coin there. Also, if we hit enough enemies with a star power, we get a 1-up. And continuous 1-ups, but there's not enough enemies here, I don't think. Or I'm just playing not well enough for that. Also, just perfect. Just nice. It's, it's nice. It's nice. Anyway, we also have a blue baby Yoshi here on the path. And also Nabbit back in World 2. So we should probably go do that. Uh, let's not take the baby Yoshi with us just yet. What items do I have? I've got a lot of items I probably don't need. That I'm probably going to use up when I have a chance. Uh, but for now, let's get Nabbit in the Blooming Lakitu's. That's going to be an interesting level to chase after Nabbit in. Since there's a lot of enemies. But we have a... The squirrel suit. So let's chase after him. Oh, this is slow if I go over the trees like that. Let's not do things like that. Let's be very careful of the sp uh, spinies that that Lakitu is spawning. Come on. Also, apparently you can just press the jump button in mid-air to... Um, excuse you. You can also press the jump button in mid-air to spin, apparently. I didn't know that. You got my stuff back. Thanks a million. Take here, take this. You've earned it, and you should come in handy when you're in a tough spot. Another P acorn. Okay. 
Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, but for now, let's go back up to World 3, I guess. It depends on what you want to do, call it. Uh, but I refer to this as World 3, basically. Just because it's the same, like, theme order as the Wii, I guess. Anyway, Cooligan Fields, which I feel means that we're going to have the penguin enemies against us, possibly. Uh, but anyway, we also have a blue Yoshi, which means if we press the R button to spin or shake, which is shaking Yoshi, we actually spit out bubbles everywhere. Anything, any enemies that touch the bubbles will get put into the bubbles, so, and get converted to coins, so. We can also bounce off of the bubbles a little bit, but it's not in extremely helpful, but it's, it's still something you can do, so. This is going to get really bad once I fall into something. Also, that one turned into a power-up, which is interesting. I might grab that, actually, since that's going to be helpful to us. Remember that Baby Yoshis can also eat enemies. Some enemies, not all enemies. But it means you can do stuff like that. So many bubbles. So many bubbles. I feel like I actually made a mistake by taking this power-up, but that's okay. Don't need the red coins, probably. So I'm just going to leave them. I feel like I'm missing a lot of things right now, at this point in time. Well, there's a... a star coin. Let's see what one this is, because this might be what I need, possibly. Maybe. Uh, I might need to actually do that. Oh, wow. I'm somehow still on track. Come on, ba come on baby Yoshi. We have places to go. And penguins to eat, apparently. Oh, get up there. No, get up there. Get up. Sorry, baby Yoshi. I can't escape my fate. Ah! Why did I go at full speed with a baby Yoshi in a squirrel suit? This is just a bad idea. Anyway. We lost our baby Yoshi, unfortunately, which means it's not going to respawn on the map for a little while. Uh, speaking of not respawning on the map for a little while, let me go to map view. And yeah, the, uh, the pink baby Yoshi's back, so I could take that if I wanted to. But I think I'm just going to go as I am for now, and I should be good. I mean, it's not like it's going to make things much better. Especially not on this level. Since I'm just going at full speed anyway, and being completely unsafe. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ah! Why do I do this to myself? I really do just do this to myself. I want a power-up, please, or something. Just don't kill me. Oh my goodness, really? Get up there, please. Okay, thank you. Give me a mushroom, and give me the star coin. Doing a wall jump. I have to do that. Okay, slow and steady, slow and steady, slow and steady. Oh my goodness. Also, the penguins have two hit points because they have shades on, and when you have shades on, you get an extra hit point. They also slow down after you hit them and take off their shades. I'm doing really bad right now. Ah, uh, but that's a fine because I have power-ups to use, so... I could also use the star power if I really needed it. Or I could just take the mushroom and get whatever the level is supposed to give me. Nice. Give me the one-up. Because obviously that's gonna help me. A ton. Probably, maybe? It depends on how much I die on this level. Which shouldn't be this much, but it is somehow. Ooh. Careful, 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 oh my goodness. Please don't hurt me. That somehow worked. Cool. Just gonna dodge that and get down here before that hits me out of the pipe. Okay, this is fine. Just go slow. Just go slow. Just go slow. Just go slow. Where, where are we going? Up here, apparently. I don't know where I died or how I died. Around here. Also, did I miss that? No, I didn't. This is the end. Okay. I don't know what just happened. It's fine. All I really need to know is I shouldn't go at full speed with a baby Yoshi and when I'm gliding. Because bad things will happen. Okay. Midcastle. I guess. 
That works. I guess it's a... Uh... Oh, it's got a fair bit of levels in this world. But it's also got a split path, so... Where you could just take one level, not do the other. We can also run into this penguin on the road. And get into a fight with it. Which shouldn't be too bad. Ah! Ground pound to just take them out in one hit. Yay, star power! This will help me immensely! <laughs> you really never need to fight the enemies on the road for power-ups. But anyway. Um, what do I have? It's just a regular mushroom power at the moment? Cool. Just super toad at the, that for the moment. Freezing rain tower. I think I really like this tower, actually. In its design. Because it has these icicles that drop down whenever we're close to being underneath them. And they do respawn, so we need to be careful. But also there's these big... ...icicles that fall down. That make platforms for us. Okay, we need to be very careful here. We need to be very careful. We need to be very careful. Root needs to be so careful. It's a good thing I'm so good at being careful. I'm always careful. And if that doesn't say something about... ...my safety, I don't know what will. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's... Ow! Be careful. Let's be careful. Because there's a giant icicle there as well. Okay, we're good. Watch for the drips from the ceiling. To be careful of icicles. Like me. Oh, there's a... there's a... there's a... there's a... but there's another one. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. There's also this platform that's going up and down. That is good for us, because we need to go up here and get that, please. Slide, 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 slide. Not like that. No, it's fine. Grab that, please. Okay, give me the power-up. I need the power-up. Not that badly, but still. Uh, I need that coin there as well, if I can manage that. Also, I think in multiplayer, you still die if you go off the bottom of the screen if people move, or... Bottom of the screen, or... Right or left of the screen, depending on how- where people are in front of you. Which way you're going. So you need to not rush ahead of everyone in multiplayer. But anyway. Let's start going up on this platform, which means we can get crushed here, so we need to be careful. But there's also gonna be everything trying to kill us as we go up. So we need to be extra careful. Also, the icicles can actually kill Oh, the dry bones. Okay. I think the dry bones can also get crushed. Okay, I need to get up there now. If I'm gonna get that star coin without getting crushed. Good, 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 great. We can also wall jump to try and get up faster if we need to. Which we don't, but... I mean, we can do it anyway. Ow. This was a bad idea. But now I'm just up here and I can't do much. And I need a power-up now. I also believe the icicles can actually activate blocks, but I don't think that usually happens. Huh. Eee. No. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. That's very bad. Oh my goodness. Power block, please save me. Thank you. Thank you. We killed enough enemies on the screen to also get a thing. A one-up. Uh, now, I have a little bit of a problem here, because I'm at the end, and I don't have the third star coin, and I don't have a power-up. There should be a power-up here somewhere. Actually, I probably believe... right there, yeah. On top of the... icicles in the middle. Well, this is gonna be bad, especially because I have to come back to the level to get the last star coin, because I missed that somehow. Okay, boom, boom, ice floor, and... Big jumps. Cool. Works well for me. Just need to time my attacks just right. And just win. It's a good thing I'm so good at the bosses when I'm terrible at the levels sometimes. Also, the baby Yoshi's back. I don't know how helpful that's going to be. 
at the moment. Oh, hey. The spiraling clouds around Peach's Castle are looking a lot more... more. And Peach is calling for help. Anyway, let's go back in the level and try and get that star coin that I missed. But where did I miss it? It must have been up that bit where the the platform was rising. Which is an interesting position for that to be. Gonna have to keep an eye out. Also, these ice, giant icicle platforms are a little bit strange because you can actually jump up the sides of them, I guess. Also, I need to be careful so as not to jump directly into the enemies. That's probably a good plan. Can I please wall jump? I don't know how I did that. That was a mistake. That's fine. There's also this platform over here. Oh wait, that's just the way to go. Cool, that works for me. Let me just avoid getting hit by everything. Don't need that star coin. Okay, checkpoint. So the star coin must be somewhere around here. No, it mustn't. It's a little bit further up. There's another one up here. Further. These are very far into the level for star coins. I need to probably watch the walls. For stuff that looks suspicious. Okay, there's the second one. So now I need to keep my eyes open. I guess I was probably going too fast before. Actually, that didn't activate the thing. That's interesting. I thought they did. Maybe I'm just thinking about Mario Maker, possibly. Oh, I see it. 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 Go into the wall here, like that, and the star coin. Because the wall was colored completely. And that's when you know. Uh, also no power up, that's interesting. There's so many things here, which is good for me because it means I get one-ups. <laughs> but anyway, now I just need to do the boss. For everything to get saved. Okay, boom boom. Let's take you out. Dinner, maybe a movie. I mean, you're basically taking me out. Okay, next up, Prickly Goombas. That seems like a good idea. Also means that's a, probably a good idea, idea to have fire flowers, maybe, just to have a little bit of control, because we have all these prior plants that can shoot fire here, but we also have these spiky Goombas that can get released by shooting them with fire. The prior plants can also activate them though, which is the main problem. Ow, I don't... I'm sad. Ah. Please hit the block, please hit the block, please hit the block, thank you. Dodge all the Goombas. And the fireballs. Need to be careful with how the fireballs bounce when you throw them. Anyway, let's get up here since we need the fire to be able to get up here. And go through this pipe. And now we need to hit the invisible blocks to get to the star coin. Just like that. It's a neat little room there. Okay, that was only the first star coin and that's at the checkpoint. Also the stars and the sky and the lights, so cool. 
Oh, Yoshi. That's something I wasn't expecting. But I suppose it makes sense. Also, I see those coins up there. I don't think they're important, but th that's interesting. Also, goodbye. It's got this pipe. We can use Yoshi, Yoshi's tongue to get the fireballs to do things, but we can also bounce off of the spike goombas with Yoshi to get that coin there. Which works out a lot better than trying to fireball everything in there and do everything else that way. Uh, but anyway. Let me just get rid of you. I could have taken... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I took out the fibro somehow. That shoots fire. You know. Makes sense. Uh, but anyway, what did I do? Was that the fireball? Oh my goodness, there's the fireball! Fireball? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I wasn't expecting it to do that much damage. Also, there's a lot of uh, those prana plants on the ceiling coming off those pipes. And if I had used the fireball on that using Yoshi, since the fireballs that Yoshi spits out can go through walls, that would have been a lot of good stuff, probably. If I had the right angle, you know. It's a bit difficult. Uh, but anyway. Let's get this one-up house. Because I've done so well with that recently. Which means I'm going to completely mess up this time. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Coins. More coins. One up, one up. I missed the one up. That's missed the Bowsers. That's a good idea. More coins. One up. Nope, missed the one up. Missed the one up again. I'm a pro at dodging. <laughs> what is happening? Also, I'm going to just dodge. Just going to dodge. I have not hit anything so far. One up. Good. One up again. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, three one ups. Might have a chance. Whoa. Four one-ups, cool. I did not hit a single Bowser, but I also missed a lot of one-ups. Very nice. I have so many lives. Okay, but anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.